the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today is a very special day for all of us. Today is the birthday of Father Pio. In his birthday, we have the privilege to celebrate the Holy Mass here in his tomb, where they kept the body here. Only now they have taken the uh, body to a new church, but this is a place where it is still after it is. In his Holy Mass, I pray for all your intentions, and especially the Lord will bless you abundantly, your families. With a lot of intentions, you have been here to pray through other people so that you will get all your blessings, peace, prosperity for your family. And we will also offer all of you in a special way so that the Lord may bless you and give you good health and to bless this pilgrimage to be a joyful, to become a blessing for all of you. Let us surrender ourselves totally to the Lord and we will also ask forgiveness so that we may offer this holy mass in the world to have.
Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer come before you like the sins. The raising of my hands like an evening of nation. Response. Let, let my prayer come before you like the sins, O Lord. Lord, set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. To you, Lord God, my eyes return. In you I take refuge. Spare my soul. Response. Let my prayers come before you like the sins, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. <clears throat> People were bringing the little children to Jesus for him to touch them. The disciples turned them away. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I tell you solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Then, he put his arms round them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are privileged to be here in the sanctuary of St. Pio. And in a special way, we have the privilege to celebrate the Mass on his birthday. Every birth has a purpose. And every meeting that we have in the world has a purpose. Today we meet each other. God has a purpose in it. And through the readings of today, the Lord is asking us to care for each other. Care for those who are having lots of problems in the family, the sickness, those who have gone, gone astray, those who are not doing well, some of economic problems business and in the family and in the relationship. For all of them, we need to show the mercy of God, hands of God. That's what caring means. Caring means treating them with as much love and attention as we show to young children who have a simple but profound trust in us. When we look at the children, they are very happy. Because they don't have any worries about future, any worry about money, any worry about relationship. But they have a profound trust in the parents. They always look whether the parents are there. The same way, we are supposed to lead a life. Life of joy. Life of blessing. When it is possible. Always we must have a profound trust towards our Father in heaven. If you have a trust in Jesus, then you need not worry about anything else. That is the primary thing that we learn, that we need to learn from the reading center. In the first reading today, St. James invites all of us to be a prayer for people. We have come over here all the way from Manila. To show your faith in Jesus, in God, through Father P. And surely it's going to bring you lots of blessings. When you go back, you're not going to going back to your place with empty hands, but with lots of blessing. With lots of graces, with lots of mercy. Prayer 
is much more than reciting words. It is our relationship with God. And you people have lots of faith and you are showing it in many ways. The pilgrimage is one of the ways to show our relationship with God. And it has to flow. It should not stop with reciting prayers, with the recitings of words. It has to extend to our life. Prayer has to go and it has to extend in our life. In what way? First, we need to understand the power of prayer. That's what in the response to song we have uh, recited today. It speaks about the power and effectiveness of prayer. The song speaks about the power and effectiveness of prayer. It has a power. The Holy Mass has a power to change our life, to transform our life, to take away all our pains and sufferings in our time. That is a promise that we are getting again and again through the scripture. And finally, in the gospel reading, we see Jesus also speaks about our need to care for others. Children, don't think about as long as they are focused on the thing they have. That is their parents, the protection they have. As long as your focus is on the law, then you need not worry about it. As long as your focus is, your trust is in Jesus, then you need not worry about anything. Problems will come. Having trust doesn't mean that you will not have any problem. Having trust in the Lord doesn't mean that you will not face any difficulty in your life. But you will have a strength to overcome it. That is the thing. So caring means praying for others. That's not only lifting up words to God, but also being willing to put my prayers into actions for the sake of others. Today, in this Holy Eucharist, we shall pray for each other. We shall pray for our family members, those who are living there, our relations. We shall pray for their difficulties. We will offer everything in the altar of the Lord. This altar will transform. As it transforms the bread into the body of Christ, as it transforms the wine into the bread of Christ, these our prayers and offerings also will transform our difficulties into joy. We will see a joy. We will see good health. We will see prosperity in our life. That is the message and promise of the Lord today for all of you. Let us thank the Lord and with profound faith, profound trust in God, let us continue to offer our own intentions in this holy Eucharist. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received divine love, for the divine love of human hands, it will become ours and children. Blessed be God for you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no perishing may go unrestored, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and in every action we give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name of the blessed bread of our world's name. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virgin, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions are Lord, and powers come before him. Ever in the virtues of heaven, Blessed Seraph, worship together in the exaltation. May our voices be prayed, join the prayers in humble praise as we are praying. Holy. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your name, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection and your poverty. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this word to be in your presence and minister to you. Happily, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring them to the fullness of charity, 
to the elementary branch staff for grand cooperation in all the village. They were proud of brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Now all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your peace. A mercy in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Peter, who have placed you through the ages, we may merit to be the forays to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the serious time and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, God in heaven, and the Lord be our name. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, do not pray for the Lord. The Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. 
and also give a special blessing to each and every one of you. Special blessings from the sanctuary. And we also continue to pray for each other. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, with our mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you.